video in the powerhouse garage. Today we're gonna be a. I think it's time to go black interior. I think it's time. Door panels for the little panels. Rear. Oh. Rear panels. Yeah, I got a mess back there. But rear panels, door panels, rug is gonna get painted, and yeah. So stay tuned and uh, let's go to AutoZone and get some paint. Go see how many cans they even have in stock. Two thousand years late. So here it is. I picked up five of them, and eight dollars each came out to thirty-nine something. I had a ten-dollar rewards, a little discount, but I believe it should be enough at least for all four panels, the two door panels. And the rear panels in the back, those are two long panels. And then uh, I don't know if, hopefully it'll be enough for the carpet and the rear carpet. We shall see. Start off with the driver's side door and the passenger side door. Uh, it's real simple to take out the door panel, two Phillips screws here, two over here. Uh, you remove this harness, you unplug the harness of the lock, and it's just a whole bunch of clips going around. So let me remove this real quick. That's gonna get painted. Put the screw right here for now. There you go, boom, that's gonna get painted as well. I just have to wash the door panel and that should be ready for paint. So here is driver's side door cleaned up and uh, it's time to give it a go. PJ says he wants to spray it. Let's see how he does. Too close. Beige, no more beige. What? Was that color? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so here's the first coat. I gave it a heavy coat. And it's, it's black. It's looking good, to be honest. I think I probably got to hit it one more. I still probably have half a can left for a little more but not too bad all right now I'm doing the passenger side the door I'm cleaning it and prepping it for paint next is uh, spray it here's how the driver's side door came out I think it might need a touch in certain areas but 
This is just one heavy coat. What do you guys think? Let me know. It looks OEM to me. Can't wait to see it. Red with black interior. So far, the car is just getting gutted and gutted. I feel like, I feel like we should just keep gutting and leave everything gutted and just leave it with one seat. I don't know, comment down below. Comment down below. But so far, I got two panels painted. Uh, removing everything else. And I'll give you an update in a few segundos. Alright, so now I'm about to take out the rear panels. Before you take out the rear panels, you gotta remove these covers for the speaker. You got three Phillips. Once you take out the three Phillips, there should be a screw there holding the panel. And as well, you got the rear seat belt. You gotta remove, you gotta remove this bolt right here, and then that's about it for your rear quarter panel panels. Let me get to it. All right, so here's the aftermath, and of course it started raining. But, she is all gutted. Time to finish painting the rest of the parts. The rug, I have to, for the rug, I have to maybe slice it here in the middle and over there. Um, just because of the wiring is in the way, the harness. But I think it should be all right. Yeah, we should be good. It's a mess here. I know. One should be the dash once we get to paint it. But let's continue painting. This driver's side is about to go from beige to black. On the first one I painted two panels painted the two I painted the two door panels I painted two little pieces and I'm still on the first can but I'm pretty sure this one is wasted here's how it is all black still needs about another coat so it could be fully fully black but it's coming out good coming out good Okay, so the kick panels just got painted and the top quarter panel pieces got painted as well. Let me know what you guys think. I just finished taking out the rug. I got a vacuum. I have to vacuum the rug before painting it. And I got a vacuum in here. So yeah. Haven't seen the car this naked. Here's how the back looks so far. I don't know if you can tell a little bit. Let me open it up. Here's how the back is looking. It looks OEM to me, to tell you the truth. I don't know, you guys let me know. It'll be cleaner later. I'm gonna definitely remove all these tools from here. It's gonna be clean by the end of this video. Damn, man, the car stood overnight outside one day and look at all this stuff. Gross. Dirtiest shit. But I guess, wash it later. Okay, so here's how it was looking so far. And I had not a full can. So I think I'm gonna buy two more cans and I should be good. Um, but yeah, here's how it was looking. Not too bad. 
and this was with like three quarters of a can and again I'll put the link in the description okay so here's how it is so far this is I guess one heavy coat uh, I went to an AutoZone and they only had one can so that's all I could buy but it definitely needs one more coat to cover everywhere where it's uh, still a little light I don't know if you can see it in the camera but yeah it's coming out good it's coming out good I think with one more can or maybe two just to be on the safe side and we're done I will be leaving a dash like that for now and uh I'm gonna put everything back together. I'm gonna go to a different auto zone or an advance and uh, pick up another two cans. I went and painted off camera. This is about two cans, three cans in. This is three cans in and this is what it looks like so far. And uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. It's black just letting it dry off okay so now it's way much better cleaner I vacuumed the car inside and uh, time to put the rug in let's see how it looks I believe uh, I am good with painting the rug let's see type R I feel like I'm gonna leave it like that So let me install the carpet and uh, I'll pick up the camera. So here it is so far. It's a quick update. Got the rear quarters on. Got the carpet. Got that side on. Up the side step. But it's coming along good. What do you guys think? I like it. It's not so dark here, but the seat is covering that, so oh well, and here as well. But in the front, where it's more noticeable, is definitely black, black. And uh, I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Okay, guys, so we just put the rug in. And now we're trying to and we put in the speaker. speakers. Speaker. Now the other one just gonna have to go in. Now we will bring it back until the speaker comes back. Goes in. Bye, so here's how it is so far. I put everything, almost everything together. All the panels are in. The only thing is missing is the seats. But it's looking mighty good. Here's a door panel. Digging the, I'm digging the red with black. Uh, interior all back together, and here's how it's looking. I mean, what you guys think? But it is looking good. But uh, I don't have to wait for now because I'm thinking of doing something with the headliner. Just don't know what yet. So I know it has to come back apart again, but it's alright. And uh, when I do do the dash, the only thing I'm gonna do is pull it just. I'm gonna pull it just a bit, cover everything around, and uh, spray away and take off all the panels. Take out the radio. Take out the panel the climate control and uh, obviously the steering wheel I'm gonna take out the two panels paint it separately paint the glove box separately but overall I spent under a hundred dollars and I think I think if I would have bought all the interior pieces I would have definitely spent over a hundred dollars 
um, the rug that ain't too bad I don't know how long it's gonna last black we shall see but if not if it doesn't last then I'll just buy a rug and that'll do it for this video thanks for watching like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell on see you in the next one